Inking Byzantine here, and today we'll be going over some news concerning Lucid Motors. Now before we get into this article, I'd like to say that I'm not a financial advisor and this is all my own opinion. Now let's get into this article. Tesla competitor Lucid, Mo Lucid Motors may go public via SPAC merger. The New York-based Tesla competitor could be valued at up to $15 billion in the deal, Bloomberg reported. Lucid, led by Tesla's former chief engineer, aims at a luxury auto market. Its first cars are expected to go into production at a new Arizona factory later this year. Well, I like the sound of that. The fact that they have a factory is better than Nikola already. <laughs> now, here's their designs. We have the Air Pier at 69,406 miles. We have the Air Touring at 87,500 with a $1,000 reserve which also has 406 miles in terms of range. The Air Grand Touring, which is at 131,500, which has 517 miles in terms of projected range. And then we have the limited edition version, the Air Dream Edition, which is also has 503 miles projected range. And it also has 1,080 horsepower, the highest horsepower among their four models. Now we can do a quick comparison between the Model S and the Air Pier, looking at their cheapest model. So the Model S Long Range Plus is cheaper by around, let's see, $5,000-ish. And they both have similar range, so just something to keep in mind. And then if we look at the Tri-Motor All-Wheel Drive Plate, for 135,490, which has 520 miles plus range estimate, and we compare it to the Air Grand Touring, which has 517 miles projected, we can see that Tesla has a slight advantage in terms of miles. So, with that in mind, as you can tell, Lucid is definitely going to be aiming the luxury segment of EVs as all their cars at minimum are over $69,000. While Tesla, we have cheaper models than the Model S. Also to keep in mind when investing into Lucid Motors if it goes public is that they were founded in 2017 location in California. They currently have an estimated annual revenue of $378.5 million per year. And currently Lucid Motors has over a thousand employees. And Lucid grew their employee count by over 101%. And they currently have 99 jobs. So this is a very good sign that Lucid Motors is expanding. And they're expanding fast. And this is probably one of the better EV startups in the United States. Now, as for the SPAC they could merge with, it's Churchill Capital 4, currently they're up around 4.5%. And over the last few days, with these rumors, it has jumped close to 75, 74 percentage points. And if you want, there's like no 100% confirmed news, but it seems most likely that Lucid Motors will go public through the SPAC. But there's always a chance that it could not go through. And with that in mind, with a SPAC, there's a if there's like a nav if you understand. Like SPACs can liquid liquidate at their nav and distribute it. So if there's no like they couldn't find a company to merge with or they lost too much money over the year then they can disband. Well this uh, SPAC is currently trading like I said over 70% over their NAV so this is definitely going to be a riskier bet than some would uh, say but it is definitely something to keep a look at as this EV startup I think is better than Fisker I think it's better than, well, Nikola's not really an EV startup, <laughs> but I definitely think this also has more potential than something like Workhorse, 
And that's just my thoughts on Lucid Motors and Circle Capital 4. So what do you think of Lucid Motors? Do you think it'll go through the SPAC or will it just go through IPO or direct IPO? And tell me, what do you think of their chances against going against Tesla and the luxury EV segment?